Ooh. Right. So let me tell you how come I'm back here. Um, firstly, firstly, let me go through uh, the event. Now, I got a cab uh, again from um, St John uh, shopping centre um, and he didn't seem to know where he was going. I said I wanted to go to uh, Liverpool Olympia. He said where? Um, so I remembered that the name was uh, Derby Road or West Derby Road uh, and so off we went and uh, there are a couple of landmarks that I have memorised um, on my walk back in case I had to do it. One of it was the uh, the Leeds, sorry, the um, Liverpool uh, Royal Hospital and uh, I knew that when he got to that he would have to turn left and he went straight on and I was there thinking something funny going on here so I said uh, I said a couple of, I left it a couple of minutes thinking well he could still turn left uh, and uh, eventually we got to some sort of borough mar uh, marker and I thought right we've gone too far so I said to him oh I said uh, I don't remember it being this far out I said uh, so he pulled in and I said um, I said do you remember the uh, the hospital we went past I said I, I think you should have taken a left there and it was down the end of that road and he said Oh, he said, I, uh, I thought you meant this end of the road. And I thought, basically, he was going to go up to the end of that road, however far out it went, and then turn around and come all the way back down the road. And would you charge me for that, probably? So uh, I said, no. I said, you know, that's the way you go. So we went back and he, he charged me the, the price he should have charged me in the first place. Now, uh, going there was a little bit difficult they uh, weren't very well planned we queued up and um, just before they opened the doors they told us that they were going to divide us into two queues one for paying uh, people and one for people with tickets now as I had my e-ticket I went to the line uh, with the people that were ticketed uh, <laughs> and I gave my ticket in and he said oh no he said uh, he said you should have got into the line of, of not having a ticket and I said but I've got a ticket and he said oh yes but you have to uh, hand it in at the box office because it's a, a, a web ticket and they will give you a normal ticket and then you use that normal ticket to get in and I was like well it does not say that on this web ticket so anyway I push in to the uh, other line and I get to my tickets and as I'm paying, as I'm sort of exchanging, she says, oh, I need to see ID. And I said, well, what ID do you need to see? And she said, oh, well, preferably the card through which you paid. And I said, madam, I'm not from Liverpool. I'm not going to carry around my credit card with me. Um, and I sort of showed her my, <laughs> my ID for um, <laughs> one of the local gyms around here. And I said, you know, that's the best you're going to do. I was in a bad mood by then. So she said, okay. So I went in, um, and it was it was all right from then on. The the, the exhibition was all right from then on. There's not really much to say except um, there were twelve fights in total. Oh yes, I stole. <laughs> I didn't steal it. I um, I went up at one stage to buy myself a, a cage gladiator um, hoodie because they were quite cheap, and I saw this lying on the side. This is a program of events. Because they had no programs, uh, they didn't even have a list. All this is is a, is a is a piece of paper with a list of all the fights on. So I I I took it um, from when I bought my my hoodie. Um, I don't think anybody was using it. I think it was just sort of left lying around. Uh, anyway, so there were twelve bouts. There was uh, two intervals, um, and there was also a uh, a special sort of clothes show from um, Affliction which sent in models um, and they did a sort of catwalk parade for about five minutes, five, ten minutes during one of the intervals. Uh, there were a couple of very interesting things. The first one was there was a vacant women's title. That was interesting. Um, and the other one was the uh, vacant world featherweight title. Now this was between a, um, a guy called Abdul Mohammed, who I know has been in, in cage rage. Um, and he lost by a uh, triangle choke 
to a guy called Luciano Azevedo, something like that. Apparently he's been in Pride. Um, I can't think he's been very good because he, he's, uh, his record, uh, both, well, um, Abdul's record was uh, 15, 5 and 2, and the other guy's record was 14, 5 and 0. Um, so of course that's before the, the match took place, so I can't believe he'd been in Pride that long, but anyway. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, it, 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 was a, it wasn't too bad. So, um, how come I'm back here? Well, to put it bluntly, I then walked all the way back um, after the event was over. The event was finished sooner than I thought. It was finished about 11ish. So I walked all the way back to um, Liverpool Lime. It was about 11.30 and they said that there was a train going to, uh, to Piccadilly and I thought well if I can get that, this was to Manchester Piccadilly, if I can get that I thought well I can get a train home quicker. Um, anyway they cancelled the train so I thought well never mind I'll sit in the station because it, it didn't seem too bad. Uh, there weren't gangs of youths hanging around but they decided they were going to close the station and when I mean close the station I mean throw people out and lock the doors and um, there was this policeman there who, who sort of asked me to leave who rather told me to leave and he had um, um, three pairs of handcuffs on this sort of little little hold all thing that he had wore on his side and evidently there'd been a, a match, a football match earlier on that evening and I don't know if it went well or not but uh, he didn't seem to be like he was going to be in the mood to sort of mess around so I got out and I thought right well what am I going to do um, and uh, I thought well I'll get a taxi home I thought I know it's going to cost the earth but I can't um, actually be on the streets for three hours that's just not going to work um, so I, uh, I booked a taxi and uh, it wasn't too bad, it was £120, which was fine, because that was only £100, really, um, considering that the, the rest of the money came out of what I, I had expected to use, but didn't. So I'll have to pay that back. Um, it was £100, but hey, uh, I needed to get back. I couldn't sort of stand around on the, on the streets. Not once they actually physically locked the station, I couldn't, there was nothing I could do after that. So uh, I came back. And here I am now, and it's about sort of about quarter past one in the morning, which is fine because I don't usually go to bed until three a.m. Um, on a on a Sunday night anyway. So after all that, let's hope I've managed to speak all of this in ten minutes, shall we?